This weekend's project was to replace the front brakes on my 99 Tahoe. And as you can see, I've already replaced the rotors, both sides. These are slotted and cross-drilled power stop rotors that I got from Summit as a kit that included both front rotors and brake pads, uh, ceramic brake pads. You can see the new pads in there. I took the calipers off, cleaned them up real good, replaced all the O-rings, repacked the front bearings. Really nice looking rotors, they're plated, so they shouldn't rust so bad. Let's go over and take it the other take a look at the other side. Now one thing you want to remember when you put these rotors on, they are directional. Uh, mine came in bags that indicated which side of the car they went on, passenger side or driver side. It has to do with the way the slots are and the way the drill drilled holes are. Now we'll go inside and take a look at the box they came in. Show you the part number. This is the box the whole thing came in. Power stop from Summit. Basically go on their website and put in your vehicle, make, model, engine, and it'll come out with the part you need. This is K1990. K probably stands for kit, I would think. And then also, you get the ceramic pads that come with it. Part number on that looks like Z23369 ceramic pads. They come all together in this box from Summit Racing. And take a look at the old rotors. These are the rotors I took off. And they appear to be in great shape. I mean, good wear. Pads that came off. I had plenty of material left on them. problem I'm having with rotors these days is um, warp rotors or something that's called uh, um, DTV. DTV. Disc thickness variation. And I've read a white paper on it. I don't know that I totally believe all that stuff but uh, I think the problem I've been having with rotors is more like that rotors are garbage nowadays everything you get is from China with unknown material and I get 10,000 miles down the road and I've got pulsating pedal to me it's just garbage rotors now these I had the best luck with until recently I started getting a pulsing pedal and uh, these were actually the best that Napa had and uh, you know now they're screwed up uh, I could have them turned I suppose and put some new pads on but my experience has been you have them turned and five to ten thousand miles down the road you're right back at square one again so I'm going to try these power stop rotors they look really nice and uh, it also comes with a break-in procedure. It's a little different than I've ever used before. It says uh, five ex excel uh, aggressive decelerations from 40 to 10, five moderate de decelerations from 35 to 5 miles an hour, and then driving around to allow them to cool. I've never broken rotors like that before. Maybe that's my problem. I don't know. But I'm going to follow this procedure and see what happens. Hopefully this is going to work out good for me because I hate pulsating pedals and screwed up brake rotors. Take one last look at those. Anyway, probably be posting some comments in the future on how they work. 
maybe how long they last. Hopefully they'll last a long time. I'm tired of replacing rotors. Thanks for watching.